I'm letting W to be the number of original paintings that are sold in n numbers of weeks. And according to the question for one week, with the number of painting, the number of original paintings that are sold is going to follow a Poisson distribution with a mean of two. So applying the scaling property of Poisson distribution W, which is going to be representing the number of original paintings that are sold in n number of weeks, will be two. Will have a mean of two multiplied by n. So it's going to follow a Poisson distribution of two n. One week it is two, n number of weeks it is two multiplied by n. And according to the question, the probability that less than three paintings, three original paintings that are sold is going to be a probability that is less than 0.01. And we are supposed to form an inequality in terms of n out of this. Therefore, the probability of w to be less than three, it is the same as writing it as probability that w is equal to zero plus probability that w is equal to one plus probability that w is equal to two. And this is less than 0 0.01. To form the inequality in terms of n, we need to apply the formula for Poisson distribution. With a mean of two n, we're applying the formula, it is e to the power of minus lambda. So e to the power of minus two n, lambda to the power of this. So it is going to be two n to the power of zero, divided by this factorial, zero factorial. We plus, this is e to the power of minus two n, then two n to the power of one over one factorial, plus e to the power of minus two n, 2n to the power of 2 over 2 factorial and this is less than 0 0.01. What we are going to be having is e to the power of minus 2n multiplied by this is 1. e to the power of minus 2n multiplied by this. This is 2n plus e to the power of minus 2n multiplied by this. 4n squared divided by 2, it is 2n squared. And this is less than 0 0.01. Let's factorize out e to the power of minus 2n. So what I have is a 1 plus 2n plus 2n squared, which is less than 0 0.01. Okay, this is the inequality that the question is asking for. And hence, I'm supposed to solve for the smallest possible integer value of n from this inequality. And since n is, an, is going to be an integer um, unknown, we are going to make use of the table away from our graphing calculator to find the smallest possible n. So keying this entire expression into the y1 of my calculator, letting n be x. Okay, I'm going to generate the table. Okay, on the table, in the x row, they are all representing n. And in the y1, sorry, in the x column, they are all representing n. And in the y1 column, they are all representing what I have here. So this is going to be e to the power of minus 2n and 1 plus 2n plus 2n squared. Scrolling down the table, this is what I'm going to be getting. When n is equal to 4, this is 0 0.01375. When n is equal to 5, I'm getting a 0 0.00277. Okay, it is less than 0 0.01. And when n is equal to 6, it is going to be 5.2 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Okay, it is definitely less than 0 0.01. That is why the least possible integer value of n is going to be equal to 5.